What is up guys? So I just turned on my PS4 and I guess as of today we can start downloading Final Fantasy 7 Remake and that way it will be ready by the time it releases you could just play it. So that was a shock I thought maybe the day before or two days before. We're, we're a week away from Final Fantasy 7 Remake fully coming out. <clears throat> um, most of us have to get get it digitally um like i don't think i could actually pick up my collector's edition uh from gamestop right now because of everything going on um but i had to buy it digitally as well just to make sure that i got a copy to play when it releases um so yeah as of today i guess you can download it so that's that what we're doing today is we're going to talk about Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. Now, images and everything has come up uh, weeks ago. I just did not cover it because of everything that's been going on and just, just everything. So, I want to give you guys my honest opinion, like thoughts and opinions on what we know so far of Kingdom Hearts Dark Road and... The fact that I was wrong <laughs> about this maybe killing Union Cross. And there's a reason why. So, first off, we are basically going to be playing Dark Road in the same art style as Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Um, I do not mind that because I actually do like the art style that Union Cross has. And it's very unique and it just makes it feel like that Kingdom Hearts mobile experience. Um, now what they're doing though is they are bringing back um, the card for battle. And to me I think that is cool because I did not get to play Kingdom Hearts Union Cross or Kingdom Hearts Key um, at the time that we were using cards. When I first started playing Union Cross there was already medals and so, you know from there on it was just metals so they're bringing back the card mechanism and it kind of shows somewhat of um, like how they have turns and everything and it's just it's 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 quite different from Union Cross the only thing that's uh pretty wild about it is that it's not going to be a, a separate app this is basically going to be an extension to uh, Union Cross that we have now um, but instead when you you know boot up Union Cross you can then choose to play Dark Road from the title screen so um, I guess you know when you have like the three trace button there I guess there will be one that says Dark Road and that way you'll be able to play that uh, I guess, it's more or less like an expansion for Union Cross so I'm kind of excited to see what they do with it, um, but they did show them, uh, they, they did show like Xehanort and Ericus in a world, and that world was actually Agrabah. I really hope that they change it up a little bit here and there, um, give us some specific worlds that are very unique just to Dark Road because Agrabah has been used so much in Unicross and in Kingdom Hearts in general. We've seen Agraba a lot. And especially with Unicross, too much. <laughs> just too much. Um, hopefully it's not just going to kill that whole thing. Of course, of course we're going to be playing all of these, you know, Dark Road and Unicross because of story. I play it because of, I actually really love the content and I love playing Kingdom Hearts on the go. Um, but a lot of you guys play Kingdom Hearts Unicross um, for the story and, and that alone. And I, I'm sure that people are going to be jumping onto the um, onto the Dark Road expansion. I'm just going to call it an, an expansion now because that's basically, to me, what it is. Um, there, you know, a lot of you guys are going to be playing that for just the story to know, like, the backstory to Xehanort and Ericus and stuff like that. And I think it's really cool that they're diving into something like that. I was hoping that we would get a separate app 
uh, or like a separate game of its own uh, for that while they're running Union Cross. I, th I think that that would have been really cool. We have so many different Final Fantasy games on there. We got Mobius. Uh, is Mobius done? One of them, one of them's done. Um, Record Keeper, Dissidia. Uh, we, we got so many different Final Fantasy games, and we only have one actual Kingdom Hearts uh, mobile game. So it's cool that they're doing it the way that they're doing it. Hopefully, it does really good. Hopefully, that we, we when we start playing it, we can get the the feel of it. They're they're talking about having a like the gameplay instead of it being like you just being. Um, you know, having the top cards or whatever, you're going to have to have right timing with your flicks. So you're going to be flicking your screen to play this game. Um, I think it'd be different, and I like that. I think I think it's good that they're changing it up a little bit, but I'm glad that they're not getting rid of Unicross. I put a lot of money into Unicross. I, have, you know, I'm a part of a huge group for Unicross, and I don't want to see that go. I love Unicross, um, but I'm glad that they're expanding it and. It's going to give us more content for this channel, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of other channels that would love to cover Dark Road as it comes. So, with that being said, remember to leave this video a huge like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you want to join the Wayfinders Union Cross Groups, you can hit us up by hitting the Discord link down below to the Wayfinders Discord. Once you're in there, we can set you up in one of our groups, or... If you don't play Unicross, you can just go ahead and join and meet friends and talk about Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts as much as you want. If you want to check out the Wayfinders uh, YouTube channels, all of their channels are linked down below. Um, and my Patreon is linked down below. Not necessary, but it does help me get more equipment for the channel. And if you want to check out our merch, that is linked down below at MarryLeroy.com. So, as always, thank you guys for watching and let your hearts be your guiding keys. Bye.